We're going to characterize the fabry perot etalon using a slightly diverging helium neon laser beam. Here's our Heaney laser, and here's the lens that makes the beam diverge. And you can see the beam is still really small after it goes through the lens. But as we follow it to the first mirror, it grows. It passes from the first mirror following this path until it reaches the second mirror. It's going to follow a third path across the table to the etalon. It's going to go through the etalon at a slight angle going through this filter over here that ensures proper exposure onto the bare CCD chip. The CCD chip is hooked up to this computer so we can analyze the data. Now because the beam is coming in at an angle onto the etalon, we see this bullseye pattern and the center of the bullseye would approximately be up here. If you look at the width of a single fringe, it is about one-sixth of the distance between two fringes, which gives us a finesse coefficient of approximately six.